Hello, I am going to teach you how to use a basic compass. So, previously I taught you how to properly hold a compass. Do you remember the steps? Hold it with the palm up, direction of travel arrow facing forward and your arms fixed, right? Keeping it away from all metal because any metal near the needle or any magnets can throw off your bearings or your directions. Okay, so that is a quick review on how to hold a compass. Now, what do I do? Let's say that before I go out into the woods with my family, I printed off my map and I studied it and I determined that there is a road that no matter where I'm at, if I headed west, I could always find that road. Well, here's how you would do that. Because if I get out into the woods, I've got to know how to use this compass to find that safety bearing. So, let me show you how to do that. So the first step is holding it properly. Second step, and this is assuming that I've already determined that my safety bearing is west. So, step one, hold your compass correctly. Step two, dial it in. So west, all right, so I'm gonna take my dial and I am going to rotate it until west, the west on the dial, is lined up with the index line okay can you see that right here at the bottom it's lined up at the index line now now that i'm dialed in i i'm holding my compass correctly i've dialed it in and now i am going to rotate my body until the red is in the shed remember that little rhyme what that means is that the red needle the red magnetic needle is lined up with this red looking shed. It almost looks like a red arrow, or if you took a red shed and squeezed it for really skinny people, really skinny people, like broom people. Anyway, so you want that red arrow and that red shed lined up. Put the red in the shed, okay? So what were my steps? Hold the compass properly, check. Now, dial it in, check. Now, I will rotate my body, turning in a circle, until the red is in the shed. Now remember, do not move your arm, but you wanna move your entire body. So I am going to slowly turn and turn until the red lines up in the shed. Just like this, okay? And remember, because my direction of travel arrow is pointed forward, now I know that I am facing west. So when you go out into the woods and you're lost, pull out your compass. Remember, think in your mind, my safety bearing is west, okay? So I dialed it in, okay? So uh, the steps again, hold your compass properly, okay? Dial it in, so it's dialed in, and then put the red in the shed. And now I am facing west. And now I can walk forward and keep going in that direction until I reach my safety place, such as uh, my safety landmark, like a road or a stream, okay? So that is how to basically use a compass. Now, in my directions, I dialed it into west. Well, you could use numbers. If you notice, on most compasses, they have 360 degrees around the dial here. Well, if before I went out and studying my map, let's say that west just, or a letter direction, because there's only four of them on mine, if it didn't line up with those, you could use a number. So instead of lining it up to west, let's say I did 240 degrees. Same steps still apply. So number one, hold your compass properly. Number two, dial it in to 240. Step number three, rotate my body until the red is in the shed. And there I go. That is 240 degrees. So I hope that you can practice those three steps. Hold your compass properly, dial it in, rotate your body until the red is in the shed. And then you will be facing your desired direction or bearing. So that is how to use a compass when given a bearing or direction.